Okay, I'm going to show you how to export a WordPress site, um, the database for it. This is very important because I had a really bad experience with iPays. They basically destroyed some of my websites, but luckily enough, my server at home had all the, uh, well, basically the entire site set up on their local drive. Um, but here we go. First thing is you need to find out what your actual server name is. If you use HostGator, it will normally give you a name like WP1, WP2, WP, which is fine if you only got one site, but also it will put a username on the front. So it could be Jake underscore WP12, for example, um, which makes it very obscure to know what file you're looking for. So what we're going to look for is we're going to search for where it stores that information. Um, and the site we're looking for is cbuxpad today, actually. So we're going to cbuxpad. When it loads, you're just looking for this file here, which is WP config PHP. Just right click and just click edit. When it opens there's a list of database information in there. I'm not going to open this because it's actually got a live password and stuff in there. Um, but when it opens it'll go okay your uh, user your WordPress username uh, sorry your database username is X your database name is X the database name is the one you're after. It's inside that file. And when you finish, just close the file, don't save. But we'll move to the next step, which is actually getting the actual data off your server. As you can see, I use HostGator. Um, the one we're looking for today is WordPress 2, which is this one on the left-hand side. So what I want to do is I want to select everything here. So what we want to do is check all. Then just export, which is on here somewhere. Then just quick. Make sure this is SQL, not one of the other ones. Uh, the reason being, you probably won't be able to import it otherwise. So it's going to save the file. This file is probably around 50 megabytes. So I'll go on to the next bit. But basically, that's how to export the file. When it exports it, I recommend creating a folder called databases and dropping them in there. You can do this on a regular basis to pull your data off and then FTP your photos, such as your, um, what do you call it, your photos, your posts, etc. There is exports within WordPress now that weren't there ages ago, but this bit suits me for what I'm doing because I'm actually going to repair this site offline so I want to keep the same database I want to keep the same photo structure etc so everything here you go as you can see this is where I've actually copied the online site here and put this on my hard drive so it's a mirror image of what I've got on the internet at the moment but there's about 4,000 articles that I need to repair so I put it on my drive here and now I'll put the database live, which is the bit we're downloading in the background, so that I can work on this on my local drive and actually repair the whole uh, website, then upload it all again. Makes things so much faster to do it locally. There's no slow internet speed, etc. All right, thanks for watching.